Hi guys, uh, Will here uh, from the Adelaide Hill Pain and SA Running Injury Clinic. Now, um, we are always on the lookout for great uh, fits for our team. Like we're looking for a really specific type of person. Um, essentially, I'm looking for what I was many decades ago. I'm really that old. Uh, so someone who really wants uh, this job, one person who's really um, interested in the musculoskeletal and biomechanical side of podiatry. Um, they love to work hard. Uh, and when I say work hard, they also want to be rewarded from, for working, working their butt off like this man here, John. <laughs> All right, so um, John is um, finishing up with us, unfortunately, in the next three days. Um, John, let's do a bit of a reflection on how the yeah. last, four, uh, last, last year's been with the, with the team. Yeah, so it's one of those things, where do you sort of start? I remember coming in straight out of uh, university, coming into a, a full-time sort of gig in a musculoskeletal biomechanical practice, and one of the things that um, first comes to mind is you know, the apprehension and fear of just being thrown into the deep end. Um, but the good thing about working here was the mentorship and just being guided into these uh, sorts of uh, patients. Um, you know, the, the mentoring is absolutely excellent. You get your one-on-ones with Will once a week where you go over your new patients. Um, so it really just helps build confidence. Uh, the second thing was definitely the confidence. When I first came in out of university, quite scared, quite fearful as I mentioned, um, but throughout the year, the last 12 months, looking back now, I'm definitely a lot more confident when I first came in. Um, a lot of that is attributed to, you know, was ability to get these, these patients that you want to see in through the door, you know, your heel pain, shin pain, knee pain type of patients, which again, you're quite uh, apprehensive of seeing initially, but then you just, you know, after seeing them so many times, you just know sort of what works, what doesn't work, how to treat them, um, those sorts of things. Yeah, yeah, so, um you know, where do you feel you are compared to, I guess, the other group of people that you graduated with in terms of uh, your clinical skills in that biomechanical, or more, more so harder part of podiatry, I guess, more challenging part? Yeah, yeah, um, you know, speaking to a lot of friends back home, you know, depending where they work, um, you know, whether it's aged care or uh, more general sort of setting, um, I'd, I'd like to think that I'd <laughs> have a bit of an upper hand That's now. Right, <laughs> I'd like to think so. Um, but yeah, no, you definitely build a lot of confidence um, doing, you know, biomechanical patients uh, on the daily, um, doing your biomechanical assessments on the daily, orthotic prescriptions, um, those things like that. But the good news is, as I said earlier, you do have this guy here, Will, uh, to knock on his door all the time. You also got Jason. You also well. got Jason, some yeah. other senior pods. So I remember when I first came in, I was knocking on Will's door every day saying, hey, I need a hand with this patient. Hey, I need a hand with this patient. But instead of knocking on his door every day, now it's probably once a week, I like to think. Yeah. Oh, if that. Probably yeah. even not that. And how about um, the rest of the team? We've got a bit of a tight little family here. Yeah, we've got a tight little, a little family. Um, a lot of us are from interstate, so we've all got that sort of common bond and, um, where we all just sort of gelled uh, because we all didn't sort of know each other or know uh, any other people from Adelaide initially. So uh, we all like to hang out together outside of uh, work as well. So we also, we'd like to think we're quite a close sort of knit, knit team here. Yeah. yeah, and what's a typical day for you? Like uh, t- uh, patient caseload, what's say the 15 patients that you'd see, what's, what's usually the breakdown? Yeah, so in terms of the breakdown, um, you do have maybe one or two generals that you will see. Um, excluding those, you do maybe one or two um, foot mobilization patients. Um, you do quite a bit of shockwave therapy, maybe the odd one or two cold load level laser therapy and a fair few dry needlings as well. Yeah, we've got the gym here as well. So um, yeah. most times when we're doing those things, um, you're in the gym as well, just giving people a lot of calf raises. <laughs> a lot of strength and conditioning, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah and obviously there's uh, about two new patients a week, a day, and then um, uh, also um, so the odd, uh, odd uh, nail surgery that occurs as well. You probably get one a week for, or about three a week for the entire clinic. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and how about the facilities here? Yeah, the facilities are great. Um, you know, when I left uni, I didn't know what a shockwave machine was. Uh, but then coming into the clinic, I was quickly introduced to that and found how effective it is um, and how easy it is to really use. Um, so yeah, we do have the shockwave therapy machine. Uh, we've got the gym equipped uh, as well in between both clinics, um, which the EP and ourselves sort of use. Um, we've got 3D laser scanning. Um, we've got the cold low level laser therapy machine. Uh, and we've got obviously the needles for dry needling. Great analysis. Have a great analysis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and um, how about the CPD? We, we um, you know, you mentioned myself, but we also, once a week, we catch up for an hour. Yeah. So once a week, we do catch up for an hour with the team. And we basically talk about the patients that maybe, you know, aren't getting better due to various treatments, things like that. 
how we like to catch up and just talk about our week, what we found worked, what we found hasn't worked, what we may need help in. Um, and that's always good to get, you know, six minds together and um, have a chat about those sorts of things. Yeah, and how about courses um, going for uh, that you've had, like yeah. uh, the entire team? It's quite good because you, we talked about the our, our CPD. If someone goes on a course, mm-hmm. part of the expectation is um, when they come back from that weekend course on Tuesday, 12... No, now it's Tuesday, 2 o'clock. 2 or 3, yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> we, we do that rundown of that course. That person's expected to basically uh, run down that whole course over 2 or 3 uh, weeks. So yeah, do you want to give us some examples, John? Of- yeah, for sure. So when I first came to the clinic, uh, within a month I was already booked in for a dry needling course, um, which was here in Adelaide, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, so yeah, you go to the course, and it's one of those things where, where one person goes to the course, effectively you go. So um, I went to dry needling, we had some of our patients, uh, sorry, some of the other practitioners here go to some of the knee courses this year, uh, which was in Sydney. And um, one of our fellow colleagues came back and presented the actual course to us during that one hour practitioners meeting. So you sort of don't get left behind. When someone goes on the course, you basically come back and, and you know, talk about yeah. it to other team members. I did a strength and conditioning course as well this year in Sydney. So I went back home, uh, then came back to Adelaide and basically debriefed about that. Yeah, we've had quite a few. Like there was the national conference, which was actually held in Adelaide this year. So yeah. the two girls uh, went over there and, um, you know, there's been a few others as well. Um, in terms of just communication. So um, my philosophy is for this first year, really just enjoy that first year. Um, just get to know how to talk to patients, communicate with patients. And we just give you the frameworks, don't we, John? Just Absolutely. to um, uh, be able to deal with their, uh, their issues and be able to get them on the right path and get them fixed. Um, so where do you, where do you uh, now that you're going back home, yep. you know, where do you, uh, how do you think it's sort of set you up for the rest of your career? I think it set me up really well. Um, as Will said, you know, talking to patients is um, such a big factor, which I realised makes it such a difference if you know sort of um, how to speak to them, how to communicate effectively. Um, so that's something that is taught here, um, as well as I suppose confidence. That's that's the biggest thing. As I said, you know, when you come out of uni, you're often quite um, scared of you know seeing these types of patients. But when you're around it all the time and around the right team that guides you and mentors you, you definitely it, it's instilled within you. By the end of the twelve months, you definitely are. Uh, a lot more confident than what you are when you first walk through the doors. All right, groovy. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in this position, if it resonates with you, um, don't hesitate to uh, click on the link below. Um, and I didn't, so I didn't mean to ask you this, <laughs> That's okay. but if um, I have to ask your permission, but do you mind if someone contacts you? Just if absolutely, they, if yeah. If they need um, sort of, I guess, a bit more clarity. You know, some people are coming from interstate. It is a big, yeah. It is a big jump. So, it is a big move. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're cool with that, yeah, um, for sure. they can contact you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Three more days, John? <laughs> Three more days. All right. We'll see you around, guys. Thank you. Cool. See ya.